Hey guys, welcome back to Robu. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. And today, this is a tutorial video. We're gonna talk about how to interface a sound sensor with an Arduino. So stay tuned. By the way, Happy New Year to all of you who are watching this and hope you have a great and a safe year next year. This is a tutorial video. We're going to interface a sound sensor with an Arduino. So first, let's talk about what a sound sensor is. So basically, it's a sensor which identifies a sudden shift in pulse in sound. So basically, if there is like a big pulse like a snap or a clap, something like that, it identifies that, converts that into electrical signal and sends it to whatever it's connected to. For instance, we've connected it to an Arduino in this project. And what it's going to do is identify this sound and send it to the Arduino and that Arduino is going to light up an LED which we've connected to the Arduino. So basically this is a very simple home automation project, something that you can just try on to get into and know what home automation is, how to get into it and how they work and everything like that. So this is like something which is spark a uh, little like many ideas for you to develop home automation projects and everything like that. If you want to watch more home automation videos, we made a bunch of them. You can check them out right here. So now that you know the basics of what a sound sensor is, like basically convert sound into electrical energy. So let's get ahead with what components you need for this video. The first component that you need is a sound sensor. The link to buy all the components that will be listed in this video will be down in the description. Check them out. The second thing that you need is an Arduino. You need a breadboard, an LED, 100 kilo ohm resistor and a few jumper cables and that's it. It's a very simple project. The connection diagram of this is right here. And the code that you will be needing for this project is in our blog. The link for the blog is the first link in the description below. You can check it out. Check the code out. Try this project out for yourself. It's a very simple project, it's a very short video that we're making because it's a very simple project. You can just learn how to do this and probably will spark many ideas for what to do in home automation development and everything like that. You can just check this out, try it for yourself. And that was it, that was the tutorial. It's a very short, very simple tutorial on how to make this system. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like, share it with your friends, let them know how to make such a system. And next year, we're gonna come up with a lot of tutorial videos and many informative videos trying to build this you know, expand this DIY community that you're building over here. So yeah, subscribe for that if you already haven't and comment down below what other projects would you want us to make in the coming months and the year. And that's been it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.